Toolpath linearization is a feature of the control that does exactly what the name implies. It linearizes a toolpath. Toolpath linearization is one of the high-end controls that we have on five-axis machines and it is used to eliminate gouging of the workpiece because the rotary axis, a b-axis in the case of the image shown here on the slide, does not blindly rotate. And what I mean by that is if you take a look at the top of those two images, we have a b-axis position going from a positive rotation of about 30 degrees in B being directed to move to a negative rotation of the B axis without linearization. The only two points that are guaranteed on a non-linearized toolpath motion is point A and B, the beginning and the end. Everything that happens in between is at the mercy of the control and how it chooses to make that blind rotation. In this case, it's a swinging arc that is going to gouge the workpiece as it does the rotation. If you look at the image on the bottom of those two pictures, we have the same movement, although the toolpath linearization has been turned on. You can see now that the tool will, basically it attaches itself to the workpiece, and that same rotation that was uh, executed in the above image is now done with linearization. The control is smart enough to know that between the beginning point A and ending point B, we want one straight line linearized move. And to accomplish that, it not only has to move the B axis, but it has to raise the Z axis as well and then bring it back down in concert as the B axis is rotating, giving us that straight line linearized move. This is a feature or a code that can be used to eliminate the swirls and the gouges and some of the other things that we see in 5-axis motion, especially in simultaneous motion, that gives us imperfect parts. Another thing that, a benef another benefit that the toolpath linearization gives us is smaller part programs. And what we mean by that is if we did not have the capability of using toolpath linearization, and we were forced to use a movement very similar to that top image, we would have to break that simple move into so many different smaller incremental moves that the program could become enormous. Where using toolpath linearization, we can break that move into much, much larger moves, but the program is going to be much smaller because you are going to have fewer of those moves necessary because the control will help handle those movements between point A and point B.